An ISD fleet has arrived over the ruined system of Concord Dawn. The system has had a history of conflict. At one point, the world had roughly a third of its mass blasted into asteroid-sized chunks now in planetary orbit. This gave our fighters the perfect cover to approach the Imperial fleet. To our surprise, the fleet lacked any kind of support ship or screeners. Four ISDs are a fright to be sure, but with this weakness, our small nimble craft could do some damage. The local garrison knew it couldn't stop the Empire, but it could make them pay for the effort. Sure enough, that's just what the Rebel Commander did. I'm told he's a local from the region. Those Mandalorians are something else. Footage of an ISD in flames has already been spread all over the Outer Rim. But that wasn't the only big impact today. I've dropped the liberation of hyperspace inside the orbital dockyards of Sullust. The tricky maneuver takes some fairly high-end hyperspace calculations, but our navigation officer was on it. Reeds, the Lothcats, Rogue, Blue, and Wraith squadrons dropped out in the first wave. X-Wings and Y-Wings immediately deploying their ordnance against the ISD territorial gains, which was almost finished with its engine overhaul. Seconds later, the Liberation arrived and battered the station and the crippled Imperial capital ship. By the time the local defense fleet moved in to counter us, we had them. The Liberation has taken some damage, but those victory classes have a habit of wrecking subsystems. It would have been a lot worse if it wasn't for the Gamor Remembrance that Nebulon B never had a chance. The loss of one ship for the liberation of an entire planet? Sacrifices. Controlling the orbit isn't enough, though. The Imperials have the Solistans in a bad spot. Freeing them not only gains us a worthy ally, but it opens up the Solistans' impressive industrialization to support the Rebel cause. I will say, the new hover tanks with Kashyyyk have been incredibly useful. It's nice having a response to that Imperial armor for once. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. Look at that galaxy. Continuing the fantastic mod Awakening the Rebellion. There's a link in the description if you're interested. We got a lot of work to do, but just for a minute, look at that hyperspace lane that we've created in this campaign so far. We can get all the way from Kashyyyk to the Ring of Kafrini? I think that's how you say that? Really, Ordabana is the one I care about. All the way across to Ordabana, and that means Sahoth and have bring in those reinforcements. And it's been working pretty well. Like, troops from Kashyyyk have been fighting on the front line of Sullust, which is way down in the north, actually, south, uh, southwest quadrant of the map in the Outer Rim. Pretty cool. All right, let's get back to the main map. We've got the Empire teching up, which they're doing ground tech at the moment. We're doing ground tech in the way of infantry, if I remember right. Yeah, we're doing infantry. And most importantly, let's turn on all things. Sullust. We've got a new captain that's joining the fleet. It's kind of hard to see his name because of the ground tech research, but it's uh, Hu Huba Nevar. He is a Sullustan who's joined us with a Quasar, which is a freighter converted to be used as a carrier. And it really is just like a big box with an opening in the front. Uh, and this thing is carrying four Cutlass 9 squadrons deploying two at a time and an A-Wing squadron. The A-Wings I'm very excited about. Nice. And that means with Sullust under our control, uh, double check, we've already got it going. We have our space station going in, and that's gonna give us access to, because we already have the frigate research, we should be able to build quasars soon, at least the first version of them. Um, the other thing we were gonna do is, did we train up? Tell me I didn't forget. I didn't forget so much as I just didn't do it. Uh, I was supposed to train up some anti-vehicle uh, saboteur platoons so that we could hit and have a little bit better of a time fighting on Kessel. Our raid is ready to go, but we don't really have, like we've got one, one rocket group and we've got one Wookiee. And that's to take down two groups of walkers, a pod walker group and an ATST group. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'd get slaughtered without some more anti-tank capability. I think that's what we need. I would love to see, I don't know if it'll ever become a unit, but I would love to see maybe when you have a certain level of like vehicle technology in this, uh, there is a, a version of what's basically Luke Speeder from A New Hope, right? Except for it's got just four members of the Rebellion hanging off the sides of it. And one of them in the back has a rocket launcher. It was some of the art, I think from the Star Wars tabletop Empire at War, uh, no, excuse me, Edge of the Empire book. And it's like on the cover of it. And looking at that, I'm like, yeah, that would work. It wouldn't be amazing at taking out vehicles, but it would give the Rebellion a chance. And they're civilian modified vehicles, so it makes sense that like these special operations troops would have the basically technicals, rebel technicals. 
Just saying, devs, if you were looking for a new unit to give the Rebellion, maybe mix some of the tech requirements and give us some weird, like, high-end uh, silliness like that. All right, Solus is under our control. We should probably get a base operational there and start planning out what we're going to do with the planet. It's a major planet, too. It has five, uh, what, what do you call those dudes? Five um, ground base opportunities that we can build up. And they can build all the way up to a alliance base and a heavy factory. <gasps> we could have our heavy factory in the south, finally. Ignoring Solus Van. No, Solus Van didn't get a heavy factory, did it? Oh, yeah. Uh, it does get... Nothing. It, it is literally labeled as nothing for the Rebellion. What? Galactic Empire says large heavy vehicle foundry, but uh, for the Rebellion, it doesn't say anything. But it does get a vehicle factory, and it probably goes all the way up to heavy, I imagine, even though it doesn't say it in the list. Um, i kind of rather have it on Sullust, to be honest. Even with the bonuses. I kind of want to hold on to Sullust because of the Quasars. Okay, let's plan our move. Actually, I think we're okay in the south right now. We could try to hit Iridu. I don't have any scouts nearby. I could bring over a Both and Spy. Do we have any Both and Spies like ready to go? We have a lot of Bothans because of that mission that we did, but we don't have any Bothans spies ready to go. Uh, and you're already busy training a lot of infantry, which is fine. That's that's fine. Uh, we're sitting at 15,000 credits. We can seriously get some cash coming in. Well, let's move our Hammerhead Underway. up to the front line. We could go for a Jabim with the Dathmerian fleet and then the Yavin fighter squadron fleet that we've been working on. Uh, we could start looking at Jaeger Minor, but I think that's just not really there. Uh, we can make Telos start making us money, which we are going to do that. Let's get some let's get some more income coming in. I'm going to turn these into income generators. And then Yavin, you're going to get a proper full alliance base. I don't want them able to take you down. I'd actually much rather give you uh, an ion cannon as well. I've never been super... We got a new mission. I've never been super impressed with the ion cannon. Because we're already, like, if we're ion cannoning capital ships and that's the key to victory, then we're probably in trouble. Because normally it's the smaller ships the Empire has that can really turn the tide of a battle. Because we show up expecting ISDs. We don't show up expecting Carrix. Uh, or Lancers, actually. Lancers would be the more appropriate one. So, Space Defense successful. We did get our space station built. That gave us a free CR-90 over Rataka. Uh, and again, increased our support. How is our support doing? 39! Nice! So as this number goes up, we should get better rewards for the various missions that pop from Mon Mothma, the command staff. Uh, okay, so there should be a free CR-90. Not exactly a gonna win the war Construction vessel. Complete. I always forget where Rotaka is. Isn't that... Isn't that in the south? Totally not the south. North? Complete. There it is. There you are. And you've got your space station over here, too. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's actually pause for a second. This world. Oh, it's bonus is cheap Swooperita production. Womp womp. Not really great for us. Who can't put an Alliance HQ on this planet? Funny enough. Uh, the nice thing about those is that it increases pop cap for us. Uh, which is actually doing pretty good. We picked up a few planets. We've been building our bases. I kind of want to get a garrison post to defend this planet. Let's go ahead and do that. And then orbit... Rotaka, you can get the Alliance Global Tech for Source up, huh? Oh, that's how we get the Quasar. Wow, that is chunky. 10,000 credits to get the, the Quasar technology. Uh, I'm okay with doing it. We just have to find the spot to do it. And I think Enoat. We're not going to put it on Solus. It's too close to the current front line. But we will put it back here. That means that the enemy will have to push through... Yeah, there's no room here. We'll have to push through two worlds... Or three worlds, depending on which direction they come from, to take this. Now, this will give us access to just the Quasar? The Quasar Carrier Strike Loadout. The Quasar Carrier Bomber Loadout. Oh, you split them that way. All right. There's all of our money. We are now officially broke. I hope I don't regret that. Operations in the North. We are not ready to take on Mandalore. Jabim is questionable. Iridonia is neutral. The Iridonians control their own world. The Zabarak. Uh, I wish I could just set, like, diplomatic relations there. It would be quite cool. Sadly, we don't have any kind of diplomacy system in Empire War. Um, 
to Sheik. We about to, about to get another week. Upgrade. Reporting complete. it. How are we doing on? I oh, could save up the money, and we could start training up. We've already got him on the list. Let's let it continue. Fire teams. I mean, fire teams would be useful too. We're getting Renegade Squadron at request. I'm gonna send Renegade over to Camino to help defend it. Cause that's the world that's gonna be defended on the ground. Speaking of which, Camino's looking rough for defense right now. Yeah, you're gonna get Renegade Squadron. Squadron? They're really more like a squad. 90% almost there. There is an acclimator north of us. Tech level advanced. Oh no! Oh no! Hang on, we're gonna pause for a second. IG-88 Droid Revolution Tech is being researched. So this is new to this version. Their commander is switching from whoever he is right now to IG-88, meaning the Droid Revolution is coming. This is the cool thing with this version of Awakening the Rebellion. They are literally like three separate factions in one, and whoever- four actually. And whoever runs that faction changes the units they can build. Oh, balls. That's not great. I actually kind of want to hit Ordo Planitia, but I think we are going to be... Mm. Oh, our backer destroyer is done too. I'm assigning you. Oh. Do we, we buy the other one yet? Because we're going to max these out. Uh, pop cap or cash? Insufficient funds. Oh, they're 14,000 apiece. Okay. Let's let time go. Uh, I am going to assign you to here, you to here, and we're going to hit. I think we're going to hit Order Planitia. And get rid of their mercenary recruitment in the area. I want to go for Tatooine because there's a hero there that I didn't get until really late in the last campaign we tried. Hey, the mission was successful for Kyle Katarn. He's going to be joining us again. Rescued. Uh, was able to rescue a former Imperial officer, Crix Maidin, along with critical information about the Empire. We will fight for the rebellion from now on. We will fight for the rebellion from now on. In addition, uh, he has secured. Oh, there he is. Uh, this is alarming news. I'm assigning you to supervise further investigation by Alliance Intelligence. So that went by really quickly, but I believe it's just set up for one of the missions that we can do. And we got Crix Maidin. So he used to be their special force commander. He actually founded. Um, he was a member of the Imperial Officer. Yeah, he's a deserter Imperial Officer who founded Rebel Ops Spec Ops. Uh, and no, we can't we can't train him as a Jedi yet. So cool, you're gonna sit at Renvar and hold command. that position for us. I might even send you over to Yavin and give you command of the Yavin base, which kind of makes sense to me, even from like a lore perspective. I quite I quite like that. Uh, all right. Mission log Look at that updated. money coming in now. Four twenty five on my G two. Can we increase that even more? I believe we can with a manufacturing base. Upgrade Excellent. As soon as you're done with that, get yourself a garrison post. I'd hate to see this disappear because, I don't know, the, the Empire decided to use the um, Storm Commandos and just take it from us. That would be hilarious and terrible at the same time. Uh, how are you doing? You're kind of fine right now, right? Yeah, you don't really need anything. I'll give you a, I'll give you a station in orbit because I think there's an orbital... Isn't there something we can build in orbit of this? Yeah, XQ, uh, we can get trade station there. And we can get a trade station here as well. Gonna keep investing in that income. Um, uh, and our income is good right now. It's looking really good. Uh, what do you, oops, didn't mean to click that twice. What's the mission? Reconnaissance. Some of the Imperial fleets have been moving to areas of space with no strategic value that we can see. I think investigation is warranted, but sending an entire fleet would attract too much attention. Take a stealth unit and explore the planet. Um, of Iridonia. Really? Um, uh, yeah, I have a stealth unit. The Empire is sending. Oh, that's funny. In my current tabletop game with my with my players, we they have been to Iridonia. They're actually quite uh, well connected on this world now. They've met the Zabrik. Uh, they're a kingdom in my game. And the guy who runs the major city there, who's basically the de facto leader, is called Zanza, um, the Berserker. Oh shit, the Empire's on the move. Anyways, oh, the Empire just took it. Balls. Well, the Empire's been doing sneaky shit in my game, and look at that, they're doing sneaky shit in our campaign, I love it. Um, Scipio's under attack too, so the Empire has moved in. That's not fair. So the Empire took Iridonia, 
decimated the orbital, you know, whatever they had in orbit there, and actually took the ground. So they're they're taking over all those poor Zabrik cities, uh, and now has moved the fleet that they used here. And this is a little scarier than the last fleet. This is two ISD ones, right? Yeah, two ISD ones with all of the associated Tie Fighters, two victory classes. Not great. So they've got some some formidable support in the way of missiles. Two carrier Gazantis and an IPV. Hmm. Patrol boat. It's a uh, it's a screening ship. Actually, no. It can, in this, it's a hunter. Oh wow. Well, I'm so used to those being um, screeners in the base game. Now they're hunters against corvettes. Uh, and then a dreadnought. Which the dreadnought, you know, we've we've they're they're kind of a pain in the ass to put rounds into because they just don't want to die. Uh, we could counter this. I think if we rally together two rebel cells, the Yavin squadrons. We get Crix made Dean to lead the fleet. You're a leadership bonus, right? He gets assaults. Uh, man, that is really annoying that it's over the... Uh, no. He doesn't actually get... Command is the assault frigate. 10% combat bonus to all frigates. Hmm. That'd be pseudo useful. Uh, let's see if we can do any damage. Maybe we can kill that IPV. And uh, some of the carriers. If we focused hard, we might be able to take out a victory. But I actually think taking out the support fleet, the IPV, the two carriers, would be better. That way we can make short work of hopefully all the ties. Yeah, we make short work of all of the ties. Wait, what do you mean I can't go into cinematic mode? Why don't you... Why don't you cinematic? Oh, great. Great, two bulk freighters. Let me guess, unupgraded bulk freighters too? Not the carrier variant? And we got a Marauder in the back? Nice to have the hammerhead. Marauder could be useful. Reinforcements en route. What else you bring me? Copy that. Yeah. Y wing squadron report. Oh. oh. Y wing standing by. Not great. Should be there any moment now. Not great. Hmm. Yeah, let's move towards the asteroid field. We'll try to fight him a little closer. That way we have a chance for the rest of the Clear reinforcements Bay, to arrive. Clear Bay 327. I feel a lot better. That Marauder looks cool. I feel a lot better if these were actual Y-Wings and not Y-Wing scouts. But we'll send them ahead of the fleet. Like, having one group of modified Y-Wings that's lost its bomber bay, that's fine. But when it makes up two-thirds of all of your Y-Wings in your fleet, it's a bit lame. We should probably start making groups as well. Uh, oh, interesting. It, it arranged you guys by your, your boost ability. Marauder cruiser here. Marauder cruiser. We're going to want to keep you in the back. We don't even have any X-Wigs in these squadrons. Enemy forces ahead. All right. Don't waste your time firing at that dreadnought. Good grief. It's because these... So many ties. Look at them all. The Imperial fleet has arrived, and I am saddened. And the victory classes are already firing. Ah, oh, they're firing at my scouts. Wait a minute, what is that? Are those tri droids? Oh, we're starting to see them. I've lost engine two. The the Black Sun. All right, you guys head here. Are already starting to see see. We're gonna see a lot of Clone Wars stuff. Yeah, lead them over here. Actually, lead them away. Lead them away. We don't want to fight those ties. What we want to do is kill that IPV. Uh, boys? Start jamming those missiles as they come in? Orders, sir. Dreadnought, I need you to kind of take point here. Ah, this is just not going to be... This is not going to be good. Ion weaponry. Let's focus the IPV down with the hammerheads. You guys come with me. IPV is approaching, but I don't want you to take the, the brunt of this. Let them get closer. Go ahead and have you jam. All right, all units, focus on the IPV. I know it's going to be hard for you to hit that. And nobody has tractor beams, right? Point defense is already online for you. 
You're already using your ability. Sit close to him. Sit close to him. Cruiser reporting. Uh, do we get it? I don't think we got it. Oh, I saw an explosion. I saw an explosion. All right, let's go for the Gazantis. Breaking you guys off, group one. Go ahead and engage. Uh, you should probably run like the wind. All back here. Don't don't go in the asteroids. What are you doing? Did you get him? Oh, he's almost got him. That poor Gazanti's about to explode. Come on, you're a screener. You can do this. He's coming in at you right now. All right, the rest of you actually didn't do half bad. And one of the ISDs is starting to turn around. Let's refocus our efforts. Yeah, you two, try to keep those off of us. I think we got him. No, they won't. We're just trying to do as much damage as we can. You really shouldn't be back there. You should be killing him. Hammerhead, try to break three if you can. Nah, he's stuck. He's double tractor beam. So it doesn't stop you, but it gives a uh, even full burn on the engines. Those two tractor beams. It gives you a slowdown effect. Oh, and you can't run, can you? Run, 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 blockade runner, run. Ah, uh, he didn't make it. Yeah, I think that may be it. But the support fleet is down. I mean, we do have normal fighters. Look at the ties. There's so many ties, they're not even bothering to use them all. And they really didn't want that hammerhead to not move. With this remaining fleet and with them formed this way, I'm not feeling like we can get through this. Go ahead and start ion cannoning him. Let's see how much damage a Marauder can actually do. Poor blockade runner. All right, I think we're done here. We did what we could. Now it's up to the rest of the fleet. And we did manage to kill the targets we were looking for. Let's pause and gather our party. So they have cut us off. The ground invasion is probably coming almost immediately. And I'm going to have to go the long way to get these reinforcements. I don't. Yeah, no. We got, we have to have the Yavin fleet. Moving into get your squadrons position. moving. Looks like enemy ground troops are. Oh, that's our guy. Mission log updated. Oh, Vader's there. Construction. Whoa, look at the ground. So this is the ground force that they used. They wiped out the Iridonian, everything they had. Vader. What what would we get for that mission objective? Um. Oh, we need to move. We need to go to Del Tuni now. Del Tuni? Bizarre. Of course, sir. Okay, we need to move. Uh-oh. Who are we going to bring in first? Maybe Elon B. And let's hope we beat Vader there. That should be just ours, right? Yeah. Oh, if we can destroy this. They pulled... No, they didn't. No, they didn't. I thought they pulled an ISD back. I saw the Dreadnought. Oh, man. Well, we're going to find out how good H-Wings are. Because I think we're going to focus on fighters in this one. I'm not going to put Rebel 1 in the front of all of those ISDs. And victories, I feel like it'll just get snapped in half. Similar issue to the uh, to the liberation. Weapons just charged. doesn't have the staying power. Received. Be very careful how you use them. Bombers. Awaiting orders. On my way. Long probes. Let's go. Choose your reinforcements. All right, what's the fleet gonna look like? Well, I think we're gonna stack gunships. Reinforcements drop them in. And then flank them with X-Wings. That's four squadrons. And we'll hold off on bombers for right now. There are no space stations, so we should have full rain. We'll also bring in some U-Wings for support. Uh, let's actually bring in all of our X-Wings. No messing around. You're not upgraded, are you? We gotta upgrade these bulks. Copy. Responding. We'll have eyes in just a second. All right, you're my anti-fighter group. Standing by. You're gonna clear the skies for us. I might mix in ion interceptors as well. Yeah, because we're gonna replace you guys soon, anyways. Let's do it. Pull off. 
Maybe on B. Pull off. I copy. So I can box select them easier. We've Pingy. located the enemy. We have eyes on the what is that? Three, six, seven. Seven squadrons of ties and two tie bombers. Squadron reporting. This is actually a decent amount of subsystem damage as well. Fighters. You don't have torpedoes, right? You're literally like anti fighter work. Three medium dual repeating lasers. Okay, yeah. All right, unpausing. Fighter squadrons are here. I'd love to fight these ties away from the fleets. Hmm. The U-Wing has the support ability, and we've got point defense lasers Heading for this out. little group. That gunship's gonna be neat. Now we've got point defense for fighter groups. Group one. Once you get close enough, I'll probably drop in your reinforcements. Order acknowledged. Watch for All right, we got a lot of ties to kill. Let's go. This is going to suck. We are kind of going right into it. Weapons on. I've got gonna activate your point defense right away. Oops, I meant to click that button. You've dropped your ability. Good job. Go into tank mode. All right. Now that we've got the fuzzball activated, and I've got them on hunt, so they'll go after any fighters that they see. Uh, our Nebulon B is already starting to get focused, so I'm going to order him to back off. I'm hoping this gets them to turn more to port, and then let's start this show with some fireworks. Dropping out of hyperspace in the rear with the gear. Y-wing. 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 Heavy bomber. Heavy bomber. Heavy bomber. And then if we're feeling really cheeky, I'll bring in the Corvettes behind them. But I'm not because of the tractor beams just yet. We've yet to use these bombers. How we doing over there, boys? You've used your ability? Man, you wings I don't know. They just don't seem to have the staying power. I'm going to break off these two squadrons. To go after the shield generators on both victories. You've won? Hell yeah! How we doing? Begin jamming. And I want you to go into the asteroid belt. All right, we're ready. We are clear to engage the enemy best we can. Watch our new heavy bot. They're so slow. They're having trouble keeping up. Man, you there? They are hitting the hell out of that thing with ion weapons. His shields are about to fail. Ready. Proceeding to coordinates. Keep your eyes open. Okay, there goes our first run of torpedoes. On the first victory class. The shields are down on the first victory. Their torpedoes, the heavy torpedoes are away. Oh my god, this the torpedoes are so slow. I think they're running out of fuel. No, they're hitting the engines. Y wing standing by. Go after the hangers. Weapons charged. Bombers at the ready. You guys have done great, but you need to get over Going here. Attack position. Oh, he's going through. He's almost through. Oh, is the Empire going to chase? Please chase. I've not, I've not seen him make that kind of Bombers reporting e in. extra effort. Let's Target go for the engines. Engine. If we slow them down, they'll Signal sit the in those in that territory even longer. The primary engines. Yeah, we don't have to worry about anything else. Go after those engines. I can't see him. Ah. Torpedoes are away on the X-Wings. Man, there's something so fun about X-Wings going Running after in. ISDs. Ready for so, like, quintessential Star Wars. Roger that. You guys are doing good. His engines are down. That means they're going to be stuck in there even here. longer. Hit the engines. I'm... These heavy bombers. Oh, keep running. Moving keep running. This is going to be silly, but I'm doing it. I'm bringing you support ships. And I'm bringing you jammers. Oh, we couldn't save it. Now we just put others in risk. Damn. We want to keep baiting them, so. Jam. Should have given him orders to keep moving. Oh, the damage. Copy. Yeah, keep your fire separated. What are they doing? You can just imagine the Imperial officer at the bridge of one of these ISDs being like, follow them in, I don't care. I saw Vader do this once. Let's go after the shield generator on this. The sooner the shields are down, the faster they'll start losing subsystems. Reporting. Same with you guys. 
Go ahead and take the shields down. And then go for the hangar bay afterwards. I'm banking on us having be, being able to kill them yes, before sir. they go Target for his engines. engines. Yes, Commander. He's just like sitting in it. He's gonna get out. That's not good. Our poor support fleet. I need you to bank this way. Oh man, the damage. He's not gonna get out of that. Y wing squadron reporting. They are running amok on this fleet. The victory in the background. Missiles incoming! I've oh, I've ordered them. There's nothing much I can do except for hopefully get them out of there. Um, hope they get out of there. We could start focusing down their main weapon systems. I mean that would do it. Well, his are almost down. Actually, I need half of you to go after him. Bombers at the ready. Primary target is the shield generator. How you guys doing? Are you gonna have your jam up soon? Right away. I've given him orders to run as far as he can. Keep engaging. Keep engaging. Is his hangar down? Yes, go after his artillery. Bombers are still laying into him. His shields are down. See if we can Get slow him down, maybe give us a break. Roger ah, we just lost fire. another Nebulon. That ISD is almost dead. Roger that. You kill him, you get back over here. Squadrons are looking okay. Those gunships are doing well. Servo laser's almost dead. Then we'll switch over to the other victories. Let's get rid of their rocket barrage systems. How are you heavies doing? You're just so slow. You're not really... You're not really great. How are we doing over here? Oh, he's moving. He's going to go into the next asteroid field. I could bring in reinforcements, but I kind of don't want to risk it. <sighs> yeah, I think we're at that point. We can, we can take out this fleet now because we need to move the fighters. He's dead. He's going to die. Dropping out of hyperspace now. Oh my god! Oh, the extra damage that he took. Why did he take so much damage? They must have increased the hyperspace sickness effect. That sucks. Alright, don't do that! I even thought I was on, like, are there victories that were heavily damaged? Kill his weaponry. Did you get his engines? Oh, you're just Fire. taking them out now. Even with those heavy bombers. There we go. Okay, take out the rest Target of his weapons. And then we might cycle you back. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose that dreadnought. That was a mistake. I should not have brought him in. Uh, we've got enemy tri-droids that have decided to join the fight. They're dead. Which was weird. I don't know why there were tri-droids in that fight. Oh, they've got probe droids on me. Ramp it up, ramp, ramp, ramp. <laughs> Which you're like an AOE repair effect. <laughs> it's bizarre. Anybody. Uh, we have lost all of those heavy bombers, but one squadron. Yeah, I don't think we're going to build those all anymore. I got They're so slow. Their survivability is awful. When Y-Wings can do the job better, have a turret on the top, have ion weaponry, and actually get somewhere, keep up with their targets. Attack that target. Drawing their fire. I'm going for that hangar. I need to pull you back to this fight back here. Reporting. How are we doing? Almost? On missile base. Stay on target. What is this? Oh, that's where your abandoned capturable core ship. That's where they're getting droids. Roger that. No! How was I to know? Actually, that's very cool that that's back here. Ugh, oh, brutal. We gotta get you guys out. Oh, you're just repairs. Damn. Yes, sir. Well, if you're ever at Scipio, there is a capturable droid ship in the very bottom corner. You can get tri droids, and the Empire is now using Attacking them against target. me. Try not to one on your tail. All right, all right. There's two heavy torpedoes being fired at the hull of this thing. Okay, that did chunk him for a good a good percentage. Ready, squadron. I'm Moving ordering out. you engines Fire on. Away. He does have a boost Moving ability. Out. Get over Take here and come help. Waiting orders. 
Whoa, what happened to all my bombers over here? Did the victories actually manage to kill them? Lasers locked and ready. Choose your reinforcements. All right, coming in from behind. Immediate fire from right that ship. Heading out. Fall out. Let's move out. We need to kill him. Like, we need to end this thing fast. Let's go. Heading out. Well, we're just overwhelming him at this point. I know you shouldn't drop in within Check weapons out. range, but. Go ahead and kick on your defense systems. Defense systems. They're not going to get another shot. That fleet? Good job. Head on back. Actually, switch your target to the engines that dreadnought so we can take them down. There we go. One ISD dead. Wow, Cinematic Cam really likes staring at this dreadnought. So you can read the serial numbers on the sides of it. Good job, Rebel One. I'm thinking those heavy bombers might be better off in direct assaults. Don't try to come in behind them while they're moving away from you, because you're just going to take too long to catch up to them, and it looks like the torpedoes may actually run out of power. All right, we got that fight. Onwards to the Dreadnought. Oh, they actually managed to... Solus Vaughn enhanced power to engines. Combat bonus. Power to engine recovers 20% faster due to the Solus Vaughn advanced engine technology. What? Oh, that's awesome. Didn't realize we got that tech. I'm a little surprised at how much damage. All Ready units. Oh, you got him. Good. Are you going to make me kill that captured CIS ship? Yes. You actually are. Man, Moving look at the squadron the loss. There they go. There they go. I'm a little surprised um, at whatever. It must have been the victory classes that were killing fighters left and right. That's all I can think of. Because it wasn't the Dreadnought. It was too far away. I know the ISD has a little bit of anti-fighter. We're waiting for the enemy to leave. Did they cancel there? There it goes. Oh! Brutal. That was brutal. Nine Y-Wing squadrons. Probably would have been better to keep them, keep them tar targeted and one to target. I thought we could slow them down enough for the asteroids to take them out. We're going to have to replenish. We won the fight. We chased them off. Ah, we should follow up. We should follow up immediately. Um... Constructing unit. Unit in production. And, and try to liberate Iridonia. And use that as a hold point. We only have a 39, though. Mm, with three squadrons, if we're not really in a position to follow up. Crix Medine! Look, I need you. Get up here. Construction complete. Yeah, go ahead and get up here. Oh, our our scout mission should be done by now, right? Reconnaissance. Um, Del Tooney. What did I go to? Oh, I went to Dan Tooney instead of Del Tooney. Whoops. Understandable mistake. Why would I scout a planet I already have control over? Oh, the enemy just teched up. Let's get Moncala training some replacements. You're a carrier. You're just not a very good one. Unit in production. Yeah, Unit in production. two MC seventy fives for the fleet. Let's get something a little bit more weighty and give me another group of X-Wings. We're going to invest heavily into some X-Wing technology. Try to get you reinforcements as quickly as possible. I would like to liberate Iridonia. I'm actually going to send Kyle to see what's over there and Let's see if go. we get an opportunity to uh, free that planet. Recon successful. They gave us just under two grand and increased our support. Lovely. Oh. And the Celestins want us to take Eridu. One of their military leaders will join us. Use the new blueprints for the Quasar, the Liberator, the Dauntless, provided us. Oh, the Dauntless, that's a tanky beast. 
It's a little weird looking, but it is definitely a tanky beast. What's our, um... Beginning Let's get the shipyard. Over Solace going, then. If that's what they want us to do, we could do it. Hey, the new Order of Havana, Havana Gas Mine is online. Squadron reporting. Wonderful. Oh, there's our attacking free MC-80. Let's move them up. Move up the X-Wings. Complete. All right, how's the production doing? You guys are training your two new capital ships. Wonderful. Our X-Wings have just finished, and our spy is on the way. And Dathomir is actually really defended on the ground. Good. Space tech level advanced. New options available. New options available. Oh, space tech. I kind of want to do your next rank, and I want to start looking at capital ship the technology. The Empire has advanced their tech level. Because when they're doing that, you can get a brief look at Mandalore. Oh, nope, guess not. I thought it would flash when we had our scout going through. Sometimes it does that. Molinus, let's move your space station over. Jaeger Miner is maxed out now. Oh, they've got a space station. Damn. It just got substantially harder to take this. Vader's moved on. Thanis is there at the moment. Small randomite. It is a small defense fleet. The longer we wait, the harder this is going to be. What's our ETA on that capital ship production? 53% and we still have to make it up there. John Dodonna has been temporarily neutralized. Really? Jerks. Super jerks. I'm moving a spy to Jaeger Miner. Yeah, we've got serious bank we need to start spending. So, Sullust. Oh, you're not done with that capital shipyard yet. Hmm. Let's crank out a few DP-20s. Excuse me? Piracy! There are pirates operating in this system. Damn. I need to deal with that. Oh, wait a minute. We can get the Sullust in Mark IIs? What does this give us? That's the Dauntless Battle Cruiser and the Liberator Cruiser. We need their rank two, their rank two tech. Uh, I could put it on Mustafar. It's a little scary because it's not very well defended. Like, at least there's a fleet operating. Kind of within the region, also still kind of scary. I guess there's no there's no such thing as a safe place right now in the galaxy for putting technology, and that's very expensive for the Dauntless. Tech All right, do it, do it. I want to get I want to get that new tech, the new Liberator and a Dauntless. Let's go for it. Squadron reporting. We're also waiting for the Quasar. Uh, they haven't gotten rank two yet, have they? No, they haven't. All right, get the last of the squadrons over there and get the MC-75. We're gonna try to li- oh, it's not done yet. I'm worried they're gonna get rank two. As long as Vader stays on the ground, we're looking okay. And as long as they don't get rank two on that space station before we attack. Construction complete. I feel like we can take this with our current fleet. But it only works. Deploy your ground forces. Actually, move your ground forces to Renvar. It'd be more useful there. 86%. I don't want to build dreadnoughts. They're so outdated. Here, Unit in production. Mission log updated. Constructing unit. Let's go for some unit. Some marauders. We get a unit battle group of four production. of them. That'll give us a little long range support. Uh, what do they want? We need you. Okay, we need to put some resources into building new constructs, train troops. Okay, we need to get a base. They want an alliance base. We'll get an AAC-1 and a speeder tank company. AAC-1s. I can't, I can't make those right now, can I? That's going to be something out of my... Yeah, rocket trucks. Nice. Did you have a specific place you wanted it, Mon Mothma? You wanted... I would love to have rocket trucks. They're really easy to lose, but man, they they can wreck a, a, a tightly bunched group. Um, You don't care, just build it. It's an alliance base, that is expensive. Yavin, you're already an alliance base. Okay, can't do that. And then Scipio can't actually get alliance base. 
No. Molinist can, though, can't you? You can go up to Alliance HQ, which you already have, but you can't go base. I think Bastion can go base, but that's not really useful way back in the back like that, other than for the build cap. And then Dothamir, I have you as your highest ranked already. You can't, you're only a... Uh, Wait, am I, am I confusing these? Alliance, yeah, Alliance Camp, Alliance Base, Alliance HQ, I think is how it goes. Like Hoth can go Alliance Base. Oh yeah, Hoth can go Alliance Base. Wow, that, Alliance Bases give you a 20 pop cap increase. That's really good. And we are getting, nah, we're, we're all right. Our production's going up and our capital ship production's going, so we could use the more H, the more, the larger cap, but. We're going to do it. I want those rockets. For 7,500, I get rocket, rockets and another ground company. You scumbags. The corruption. The corruption. Let's start moving. Uh, let's replace some Bothans real quick with somebody who can actually get some work done. Let's move our, uh, our rocket teams. I'm going to attach you to this. Our rocket teams to head over to our raiding party because... We've been really busy in the north. We still need to focus on doing this. On our way. They're in roots. Are you done? All right, MC-75 is ready to go. I'm afraid you'll have to cut your celebration short. Affirmative. Oh, no. Riken? At least they didn't get Crick's Maidine. Okay, we're moving all of our support troops. Advancing. Let's get it done. Marauder Once he arrives, we're here. going after it. Oh, if we can lock Vader down on Iridonia. Like, block lead the world and don't give him an escape route. Gunboat here, sir. I would be pretty happy with that. Because I don't really want to fight that ground force just yet. Those. Upgrade complete. What's up? We finished the upgrade? That was a quick build. Plus two support, and we got our two, and they're both on Hoth. You guys can stay on Hoth for now. I will try not to forget that you exist. They brought a freighter over. Ooh, I might be able to catch one of their freighters out of position, too. That would be great. All right, here we go. Super aggressive attack on Iridonia. And we're going to put a space station on uh, Scipio in case this goes poorly. <laughs> no, we had another Marauder ready to go. All right, here we go. The torpedo boats have to get close to do their job. I copy. Plotting course. Lock S foils in cruise position. Vader is on the planet's surface. So the way that I described Iridonia in my campaign was that, okay, why is it kicking me out of cinematic mode? I'm not doing that. It's doing it on its own. I described it as having, no, it's totally, that's what it's doing. Yep, every time. Weird. Reporting. But if I do it with C, it's fine. Uh, I described it as like a kind of a, uh, uh, a little bit of a barren wasteland with this, like all the people who live on this world live in these large canyons. And then everything above the surface is kind of subjected to a large amount of acid rain that's just naturally produced in the planet. But when you get into the large canyons, they have set up protected uh, crops that are rowed up, almost like rice crops, rowed up along the edges of the canyon where all their food is produced. It's made for a very unique... Order what is received. all those explosions? There's somebody else Proceed. here causing trouble. Yes, sir. Choose your um, it looks like we may have Ready. enemy... Uh, we do need to drop in before something on happens. Route. Let's bring in the X-Wings. Reinforcements on route. Reinforcements Maydeen. on route. Maydeen. Come in first as far back as we can get him. Into positions on your command. And then let's see what the sensors read out. Squadron reporting. I think pirates are attacking them at the moment. All right, X-Wings. Let's we'll see what they got going on. Cruiser, standing by. 
There they are. Ready for orders. It's as good as gone. We're gonna beeline it for all of our torpedoes, hopefully into their their defenses. Choose your reinforcements. Um, I brought him in early. Oh man, look at that MC40. Very cool. Uh, I'm gonna. It's the first one we've seen this campaign. Bombers at the ready. Oh, you've got real bombers. Fire at will. Look at you go. Now let's bring in the MC, and we're gonna push hard for that back line. Order confirmed. X wings to cover you. Marauder in the back. Acknowledged. Uh, we'll get some. Based on what they have, I'm gonna go Rebel One in the back. No problem. And then the point defense of the bulk way. ships. Heading for coordinates. Give them a break. We'll wait on the Y wings for now, and we'll go blockade runners with Maydee. Reinforcements on my way. You, wait, your bonus. Was it ground troops? It was only frigates. Ugh. Yeah, we're not really gonna right get a huge, huge Heading bonus out. out of that. Support ships. Reinforcements on route. Wall out. Let's move out. Let's go. Here we go. Fleet has arrived. Form up. I need out. all of you to run in and just right decimate away. that enemy fighter group. You've got to move in. You guys are already firing off your abilities. Lovely, 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 lovely. Help him, and then all my block, oh, all my hammerheads. Group one, let's go. Like a little fighter group or battle group of hammerhead gunships running into the enemy position. See if we can detonate those carracks as quickly as possible. I believe in you two to kill that dreadnought. Fire off the torpedoes and let's get closer. Well done, blockade runners. Screeners and hunters. Just dominating that artillery. Our Quintons is dead. Switch fire. Don't wait for the invitation. Wreck them. How we done? A dreadnought with all of its health has already been destroyed. We're moving. Bulk? Where's that bulk? Need you to fall back. Uh, let me get... You two over here, give us a hand. Let's get the bulk freighter out of here. Let's get the fast response ships. Finish him, finish him. Now finish him. Ah, oh, we couldn't get the bulk out of there. Yeah, the balance is actually feeling much better these days. Much better. It's such a cool looking ship. Are you firing torps? Where's your torps? Copy that. They're falling back. Oh, they're running. We got it. We got everybody that we could get. Let's watch this guy fire. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't see any torpedoes coming out of him. Maybe they've got a really slow fire rate. I hope they don't have some weird, like, firing angle. What killed those three X-Wing squadrons? We started with X-Wings. They went in hard. All right. That defense fleet was destroyed. Uh, keep in mind, there were more ships there, obviously. The space station was issuing them. Oh, no. He got away. Come on. Vader's gone. How did he get away? They must. He must have pulled out just before the fleet arrived. Cheats. Sheets. All right, well, let me know what you guys think about the campaign so far. We are trying to liberate the Erdonians. Taking this is going to be a bit of a challenge because it's going to have this damn thing, which is going to give them free 80 DPs and 80 PTs. Lots of walkers. Uh, I love that they have a power generator, but nothing to power at the moment. They haven't built anything. They might be building turbo lasers for all I know. But let me know in the comments what you guys think we should focus on next. The Empire is rushing through its tech, and that's scary. Because it's already doing space and ground tech again. A lot of money is going into that research. Meaning we're going to start seeing some really scary stuff. So do we focus on like doing the run from Irid um, Iridu all the way to Zar? Or at least taking the booze? Zar's a, a story mission. Uh, or do we focus our efforts uh, pushing back the 
Imperial um, aggression from Iridonia, we could we could liberate Ithor and go for the Ithorians. <sighs> yeah, that, that puts us where we could be attacking three different angles. Oh, Bill Bringy looks weirdly weak right now. And the Black Sun have been left alone, and that's scary. And now we've got IG88, Intel has reached us, that he's running the show now. Horrifying. Let me know in the comments. I look forward to reading them. I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.